my mother's uh, family uh, is from North Africa. She was born in uh, Morocco, but the family is Algerian. So right. I spent a lot of time growing up in both Morocco and Algeria, listening to a lot of that music. Mm -hmm. I still remember terribly bad quality tapes of, <laughs> uh, in cars playing uh, different kinds of uh, music. So Rai um, is really a, a, a sort of Moroccan-influenced uh, music, and uh, it's really a dance piece. And Chabi similarly has dance elements to it. Chabi is uh, from Algeria, very popular, became very popular in France. Those are uh, historical North African dance forms that continue into this day. So they're just really my take on it. They're not, they're not ethnographic in any sense. No, sure, but it seems so much part of the culture of the countries that it's based on. And what I've absolutely loved about uh, working on Rai, which is such an exciting piece to, to play, quite challenging, it has to be said, <laughs> but it's got at the heart of it this unbelievable percussion writing. It's got these goblet drums, it's got uh, small hand cymbals, hand percussion, mm. um, and it, re it just sort of transports you immediately. I mean, in Morocco, um, they, call it, they call those goblet drums the dalbuka, and it only has one head, but if you watch an expert um, player of that instrument, they can create myriad sounds by dampening the head, yeah. um, moving their hands uh, away from the centre and, and back again. I really try and that's to something that you actually specify quite extensively in the score. Yeah. Um, and yeah. Try, trying to get to grips with the score, learning it. It's <laughs> actually quite interesting to, to, to read through that and work out how that's to be played. Because you seem to demand quite an extensive uh, palette of colours from those drums. There is a range of sounds that you can get from it, much in the same way that, 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 that you have pitches on a harp, let's yeah. say, and yeah. then the different types of, of notes. And similarly, the zills, the hand cymbals, yeah. you know, they, they can be played in many different ways. And we were, you know, working with the, with the percussionists to work out exactly how to sure. damp them and open them and, and yeah. create these sort of flam effects where they're not yeah. quite struck at the same so you, time. So you take these, to us as Western musicians, what seems like slightly bizarre percussion instruments, but also you use traditional instruments such as the triangle, which you use to create this riff it's kind of in a duple meter, but against the seven of the music, it actually lines up in a kind of phasing sort of way. Yeah, and I think at the heart of it, you know, is, is they're all traditional instruments. And yeah. I think what I'm trying to do is create not so much that we're thinking of these instruments coming from outside of a tradition um, and being placed into a different one, but that in the piece, they sort of just meet. And uh, they are from different, you know, areas of the world, I suppose. But I, I try to sort of create them mix them together as naturally as possible with the conventional forces of the sure. of the orchestra. And that's why I mean it's not it's not an ethnographic piece. No, it's sure. not in a way that I've gone and sort of studied um, many, many recordings of this stuff. It is it is sort of honest in that way. It's my recalling of of elements of that music that I sort of remember as a child.